Hi everyone, let us discuss this theorem, Abel's theorem, okay. This theorem says if you have any power series, summation n z raised to n and it is convergent at particular values z0, which is not equal to 0, then for any z with mod z less than mod z0, then for that value of z, the power series is absolutely convergent. This theorem we are going to prove here, okay. Before that, we will try to understand the meaning of it. Then we will go further. See what it says. So you know that this is a complex plane, real axis and this one is imaginary axis. Okay. See if you have any point Z0, which is obviously not equal to 0, at that point the series is convergent. That means if you replace Z by Z0 or if you put here Z0, then the corresponding series of complex number will be convergent series. So this result says if you draw if you draw a circle with center 0 and radius mod z0, okay, its radius is mod z0. So let me show it here, mod z0. And if you select any point inside this circle, you can select point here, 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 anywhere inside a circle, then for that point, the corresponding power series, that same power series is absolutely convergent. So this is statement of Abel's theorem. Now we will it okay so let me start with a given information what we have we have let me write we have summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z raise to n is convergent at z is equal to z naught it is convergent at z is equal to z naught that means if you replace z by z naught then corresponding series of complex number is convergent so it means let me write it directly summation a n z naught raise to n is convergent. Okay, so when you have any convergent series, there is a necessary condition for a convergent series that is limit of this part is always zero. So let me use that thing. So therefore, the series is convergent. So that's why we can write limit n tends to infinity a n z naught raise to n is zero. Okay. So in a simple words, we can say this is a convergent sequence and converges to zero. So therefore, we can say a n z raise to n is convergent sequence. Okay, so it means it's a convergent sequence of complex numbers and this sequence converges to zero. See one result we have seen if you have any convergent sequence, then it must be bounded sequence. So this is a convergent sequence. That's why it's a bounded sequence. Let me mention here implies a n z sorry here z naught z naught raised to n is a bounded sequence. Okay, you are familiar with the definition of bounded sequence. Definition of bounded sequence says there exists a positive real number capital M such that its mod is less than or equal to that capital M. So let me mention here. So therefore, there exists capital M belongs to R plus such that such that mod of a n z naught raise to n is less than or equal to capital M and this is true for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. So this is a very important inequality we have got here. Let me call it as inequality number one. So let us go further. See, let us focus on the given condition. The given thing is mod z is less than mod z naught. So let us start with that. So consider I am considering mod z less than mod z naught. Okay, so let us continue now, but there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. So let us continue. Only important part I have kept it here. Okay, so let us consider. Consider now I am considering mod a n z raise to n. Okay, mod n z raise to n. So you know that we can take separate separate mod. So this is equal to mod n mod z raise to n. So let us multiply and divide by mod z naught raise to n. So this is equal to I am going to adjust one term mod n z naught raise to n mod z raise to n upon mod z naught raise to n. Okay. See uh, you know that mod z1 into z2 is same as mod z1 into mod z2. So using that uh, see property of mod we can write mod a n z naught raise to n and here we can write mod z upon mod z naught whole raised to n okay but see this term we have seen somewhere yes 
in equality number one says it is less than or equal to m so we can write this is less than or equal to m mod z upon mod z naught whole raised to n okay and this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number okay but see did you notice this is a geometric series let me write it here but but summation m mod z upon mod z naught we have right raised to n is a geometric series with common ratio common ratio see in our previous videos many times we have already discussed about geometric series so this is also a geometric series with a common ratio this one okay common ratio that means if you multiply the any term by that common ratio you will have the next term so this is a uh, geometric series with common ratio mod z upon mod z naught so you know that if you have any geometric series with common ratio less than one it is a convergent series and any geometric series with common ratio greater than one it's a divergent series so now the question it is it is less than one or greater than one see already we have this inequality that is mod z is less than mod z naught so let me mention here mod z is less than mod z naught so if you shift mod z naught on this side you will have mod z upon z naught which is obviously less than one so definitely we can write it is less than one okay so this is a geometric series with common ratio less than one that means 101 percent it's a convergent series so let me remove this one it is not required now okay so let me uh, write just a minute okay so let me write it here so therefore summation m mod z upon mod z naught raised to n is a convergent series it's a convergent series so it's a convergent series and this one is greater than this one getting this one is larger than this one so if larger series is convergent comparison test says the lower series is also convergent the smaller series is also convergent so therefore therefore by comparison test by comparison test what can we say by comparison test this summation mod a n z is to n is convergent for obviously mod z less than mod z naught see when we apply mod to it and the series is convergent that means we say the series is absolutely convergent so let me mention it here so yes therefore therefore summation a n z is to n is absolutely convergent okay absolutely convergent uh, see for i should add the condition here the condition is mod z less than mod z naught okay so in this way we completed its proof make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye